Welcome to Keble College Library. It's open 24 hours a day and every day of the year. I always choose to do my work in here. Come with me, I'll show you around. It's a really beautiful space. Ian, could you tell me a little bit about the history of the library? Yeah. Uh, Keeble Library, opened in 1878, was the product of the architectural genius of William Butterfield, famed for his holy zebra style of polychromatic brickwork. It was the keystone to the ensemble of buildings which had been put together since 1870 to form a new college in the University of Oxford, founded in memory of John Keeble, and designed to make a university education available to people of humbler means. It was, if you like, access Victorian style. Um, so, Casby, um, how useful is the library and its collections from a fellow's perspective? The library has a really generous budget and is really prompt about getting new additions in, making sure the collection is up to date and students have access to what they need. And Sarah, you're an economics student here. How do you use the library and what do you like about it? Um, so following up on what Casby said, the library is always really stocked, so it has everything on the reading list. Um, and it's open 24-7, so I can come in at any time of the day or the night um, and just grab a book that I need. Callum, as a medical student, why is Keeble Library so great? Um, what's really good about Keeble Library is that they'll buy in new books based on student feedback and then also um, fellows will sort of often donate books. Um, our most recent uh, edition um, was written by one of our own tutors, Dr Neil Herring, and uh, it's given us a signed copy. I think the founders knew what they were doing when they placed the, the library at the centre of the college. They understood then, as we understand now, that, that a great library is at the heart of intellectual life. Uh, and I say that even though we're in a digital age when we access things online, the library has adapted. It's not just a, a place of quiet study or where books are kept. It's also where you access information and get help with your particular study needs. And of course, it's also true to say that the library is a center of research. It's where the special collections and archives are kept. Eleanor, why does Cuba keep an archive? Well, the archive documents the life of our college for posterity. The material in the archive is available to students to support their research and also just to help them learn a little bit more about the college in which they live and study. There's a wide range of material in the archives, from John Keeble's personal papers through to sporting memorabilia, building plans, plans of the gardens, material relating to the Officer Cadet Battalion, and just material relating to the students' lives here at college from the foundation right through to today. Diane, you're particularly interested in the illuminated manuscripts here. Could you tell me about one of them? Well, this one is an absolutely stunning book of ours and it exemplifies the gorgeous medieval manuscripts that we have in our collection at Keeble Library. Even though we're a fairly young college, we have breviaries and lectionaries and annotated early modern books. It's just glorious. And the students get to come and look at those. And if I showed them this one, what I'd talk about is the lovely lapis lazuli blue in the Virgin Mary's dress and the illuminated margins. It's just stunning. James, you're uh, doing a master's in English here at Keeble. How useful has this book been for your degree? This has been really useful. I'm studying the early modern period, and so to have a first edition of Paradise Lost, one of the most well-known texts from this period, has been a real privilege. So you're actually very fortunate to have access to this copy. Absolutely. Uh, there are other copies in Oxford, but the Keeble librarians have been particularly helpful with giving access. In addition to holding material on all the subjects offered by Keeble, we also have a good collection of classic fiction and DVDs. We collect books on travel, on student finance, cookery, on writing style. We like to think of it very much as the student's home library. Our primary role is to support independent study, whether in helping students to navigate through the massive resources available to them, or to be responsive to changing needs. In addition to this traditional space, Night Learn in the Cafe two evenings a week is a library-run initiative providing an alternative learning environment for discussion and group work. This is an area of our work that we want to develop so that Keeble students get the best possible library experience. <laughs>